Greetings, my name is Konstantin Melostursky. I am an expert in forensic nutrition and the author of Gut Sense, how to reverse and prevent constipation and irregularity in children and adults. People often ask me this question. Mr. Melostursky, why do some foods cause constipation? Any medical reference or website you check, you usually read about some foods that cause constipation. Among the guiltiest are the usual suspects, white rice, whole milk, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, red meat, bananas, carrots, high-fat food, and so on. Actually, none of these foods can cause constipation any more than wind of water. That is because none of them ever reach the colon and digest it. That much is written in any textbook on human physiology and gastric disorders, and any physician or nutritionist claiming otherwise isn't correct. What little remains from digested food is called ash, and ash represents between 0.2% and 1.2% of total stool weight. This means if you eat a pound of meat, cheese, or rice, only one teaspoon of ash, about 5 grams, will reach your bubbles, not enough to play any role in bubble movement or constipation. In fact, the only food that can cause constipation is dietary fiber, because it is the only known substance that reaches the colon undigested. If you think you misheard me, I repeat again. Dietary fiber is the only food that causes constipation. That is because if you eat one pound of fiber, the exact same pound will reach your bowel undigested. Along the way, it will absorb water and expand five to ten times its original size and weight. And these five to ten pounds of, pardon me, heavy crap get stuck in your bowel and you too will get stuck in the bathroom. Because normal stools shouldn't be larger than your middle finger in size and heavier than 100, 150 grams or 3 to 5 ounces in weight per bowel movement. To learn more about this paradox, please visit this page. It will also explain to you how to win yourself from fiber dependence and more damage. Good luck. <music>